To change your elbow connections, you're gonna pull the water jug out of the bottom cabinet to access both elbow connections. The first connection we're gonna look at is here at the probe. You can leave the probe inside the bottle for this part or you can take it out. Now with the probe outside of the bottle, we're gonna look at these connections here. If you have a blue clip on these connections, go ahead and take it off because that will help to release this push connection elbow. To disconnect this push connection, you need to push this little ring in to release the white tubing. So I personally like to use a flathead screwdriver to assist me. So I'm gonna push it in and pull the tubing out so that the tubing is now loose, okay? Now we're gonna go to the probe. I like to turn the probe upside down so I can access this little ring here. Once again, using that flathead screwdriver, I like to push it in and slide it off. Once it's out here at the end, you can give it another little push and your elbow connection will come off. Now we can go ahead and grab our new elbow connection that we have over here to the side and push this into place. Push the white tube on so it locks in and reattach the blue clips into place. Now, the next section we're gonna to go to is up here at the pump. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna show you outside of the water cooler on this extra pump that we have, disconnecting this connection to put the new one on. First thing you'll need to do is remove these blue connections like we did on the other one. And then we'll do the exact same thing with pushing this little ring in and pulling the white tube out at the same time. For the connection back here, you're gonna push that ring in and pull it off. Okay, now we're gonna take that new connection, push this into place, take the white tube and push it in. Make sure it goes in all the way and make sure that this one back here is pushed back all the way. Then you're gonna take those blue clips and put those back on to help lock those connections in place. After replacing both connections, we're going to go ahead and put the probe into the bottle, snapping that into place. We're going to slide it back into the bottom cabinet, ensuring that the door button is pressed. We're going to go ahead and close the bottom cabinet door and make sure to plug the water cooler back in. You'll hear the pumping start. Please allow the unit to run for about five to 10 minutes. If you're still having trouble, please reach out to us by giving us a call at 1-800-256-0695 or email us at support at avalonh2o.com.